The boost, get your boy boost. Man's right here. It's gonna be a good thumbnail. Nah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. Probably shouldn't put the E90 in the picture because if I do, then you guys wanna click on it. These days, being a subscriber, subscriber numbers, is really not the biggest thing YouTube looks for these days. Uh, if you guys have your post notifications on, then you guys will obviously get uh, an alert or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that can be pretty annoying at times. So, I mean, I don't personally have it on for any people I subscribe to, so that's just, yeah. But. I do like the videos, so go down below and like this video. Yeah, I gotta show some E90 some love. And before I start this video, let me take out this thing. How, how rude. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys checked out one of the previous videos, took the car to Intrac to get an alignment after I loaded it on coilovers and M3 suspension on it, you know, control arms, tension arms, and stuff like that. By the way, if you guys are looking to do something like that to your car, make sure you stay very, very close to an alignment shop or just have the alignment shop do it if they do that type of stuff because I'm telling you right now, that car was so bad to drive just to in track, it was insane. If you know what you're doing, you can eyeball it to get the car where it needs to go. I'm pretty sure, yo, they put this, they put this little box in this big shipping box. Crazy, man, crazy. FCP Euro, gotta love them, right? The front tie rods were C's, which we have these right here. If you guys don't know what a tie rod looks like, here it goes. This is the outer. It's attached to the inner. This goes to the steering rack. This goes onto the knuckle. Uh, ball joint, which kind of flexes with the imperfections and cornering and different things in the road. And this is another type of ball joint that just kind of moves around for pretty much the same exact thing. One of the things in alignment is adjusting toe. And the way that works is, uh, yeah. This little thing right here. The more you unscrew it, the further out it pushes. The toe in. Is it in the front? It's in the back. I think it's in the back. So it would toe in the uh, wheel, which would kind of turn the wheel in. Or if you screw it in, which will make this shorter, it will toe out. This little thing right here uh, locks in whatever you chose. So you twist it to your desired liking and then you lock this in so it doesn't go anywhere. I went on another website, I'm not exactly sure. It might be Turner Motorsports. And I picked up some adjustable, these are fully adjustable toe arms for the rear. It does exactly the same thing. See, it screws and unscrews. I don't, hold on, it's a little tight. Okay, yeah. It screws and unscrews, it gets longer and shorter. And what this does is adjust the toe for the rear of the car. Normally adjusting the toe on the rear of the car would be a little bit easier. You just take this eccentric bolt, which looks like it's like a welded on washer. One side is like pushed out and the other side is not. And that is what kind of pitches the toe back and forth. So I went back to FCP Euro and purchased a, a toe arm lockdown kit. Now, this kit is about 50 bucks. And initially, I did not get this kit. I was going to go to Home Depot and find two bolts. Now, I'm trying to figure out why the lockdown kit is like 50 to $60 for two bolts that look like this. Right? The most important piece of this lockdown kit isn't the bolts. It's these little washers. Now what these little washers do is they sandwich in between the little, I don't know, I'll put it right here somewhere. And uh, these little things right here is what literally locks the bolt in. So now the next thing on the list is to take the E90 to Intrac and have them properly install these things and do an alignment. But there's one issue. This right here is the E90. This car is manual, which will make it a little bit difficult. Not much, but a little bit difficult. That's not the biggest problem. That's not even like, that's just probably the smallest problem. The main problem is obviously rear wheel drive, uh, open diff, bald rear tires. Whew, so here we go guys, it made it out. I'm a little bit disappointed because the GoPro died out on me. I wanted you guys to see me make it out of the snow, but here it is. She's unscathed and alive. Uh, one of my biggest concerns was to getting this front bumper out. I mean, I know I put it on pretty good. It's missing a couple screws right here, but other than that, I mean, she really plowed the snow and didn't really tug on anything. So, uh, yeah, I think there's a screw missing right here. I got to double check, but did pretty good. It didn't rip off. Another piece 
Another area that I was a little bit concerned about that was good too is the edge of the wheel because I was kind of, you know, tapping that curb a little bit, but I was using the snow and ice as a little buffer and my wheel is perfectly fine too. So in typical fashion, I ain't having no gas in this thing. So gas prices, a little high, but it is what it is. I swear I'm not making this up. Driving this thing is super, super sketchy with the alignment. Hopefully the guys at Intrac aren't too busy because I also got to meet up with Jerry and we got to work on exhaust for his M340. So that'll be a fun little video as well, guys. Tune in. That's the next thing we're doing. Damn, that shit was wedges in there, man. <laughs> so my guy did the back already. You guys seen a little shots up or whatever. Now we're doing the fronts. These are the fronts. I'll put all the part numbers and everything uh, down below, but you take care of the fronts and then get a line Pardon, brother. Nah, you all good, man. I'm, I'm in your way, man. Back to business, baby. We back in business, baby. Wanna give her a little rip, but one, I don't think I have the grip for that. And two, these roads ain't exactly the best. <laughs> ah. It feels so good to be back in the E90. I don't think you guys understand. So guys, you've seen it. We are just one more step closer to completing the, oh, whew. Just let me know that it was uh, below 30 something degrees outside. You know these like icicle little notification in the car goes. But we are that much closer to complete in the E90. Well, we're actually majority of the way complete. I have like one more thing I have to tackle on the car. Rear differential bushings and the shifter bushings for the car that have to go in. And then I think we are pretty much good to go, guys. We have um, everything is taken care of mechanically on the car. All new suspension parts. Tire rods, and they weren't bad to begin with. They were just seized, so. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't, I don't notice any freaking difference as far as like, like changing suspension, I mean, uh, steering. It feels like it always did before I swapped the tie rods. But the alignment, it's night and day. Now, I can't say, one, now once again, I can't say it feels any different because the car was perfectly aligned when I bought it and it had all the stock suspension components on the car. You know, I just changed a bunch of things and it required me to need an alignment. So, car was pretty well dialed in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The car was pretty dialed uh, when I bought it. Uh, just did not have the M suspension on it. Also, while we sitting in here, beautiful place to be. You gotta give a shout out to my guy, Yuri. YP Auto Detail information is somewhere. All right, there we go. Shit, it's in reverse. Okay, rule number one, don't shift with your left hand. I'm gonna just stick it to the right. But uh, yeah, man, YP Auto Detail information below, man. You got this interior looking freaking mint. Save me some money too, because I was gonna replace some of this stuff, so. Yep. Now I'm gonna enjoy this car a little bit more. A little bit more, you know, weather gets nice and warm. I feel like going outside tinkering and stuff. And then, then we're going to go for some power. So stay tuned. I hope you guys like these videos. Don't forget to like this vid and all the ones you guys watch, as long as you like them. And subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mike from Slow Speed. Peace out.